Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine All The Dime. Today I'm doing a product review. Uh, so my friend Corey sent me a note. Um, yes, the same Corey I play over wine or do over wine with. And um, he said, hey, I have a product that I think you should review. Uh, it looks really cool and it's only $15. So I went out and I bought it and it came in. So we're gonna see if we can open wine using air pressure. All right, so like I said, we're gonna see if we can use wine uh, using air pressure. So the way that this thing works is it has a needle, which you can't see, needle. There we go. So it has a needle and you pop that needle through the cork and then you sit there and you pump it. And so it has like a little air mechanism, air comes out through the needle, it eventually pops the cork out, or at least that's how it should work. And then you can use this thing, pull the cork down and you now have an open bottle of wine. So um, I thought it was interesting because you have this thing and it's just a very interesting product. I mean, it it just, like it shouldn't work at all. It's just kind of put on the thing and you just pump it. It's kind of weird. So let's see if it works. I don't have a table near me. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this bottle of wine just right here, I'm gonna, Stick the needle in. Until it goes all the way through the cork. It's all the way through the cork. So now, I'm just gonna pump. And hopefully, at some point, it just pops out. Doesn't feel like it's really moving though. Maybe if I pump harder. I'm actually more worried that the, the wine bottle's gonna break. That wouldn't be good. Oh, well, is it moving? No, but it's losing pressure. I wonder if that's a... I don't think this thing works. Yeah, it's like bleeding pressure here. All right, so maybe if I... No, it's not doing what it's supposed to. Now it's like coming through the cork. It's just, should be working. No. So I wonder if I start, what's gonna happen if I'm gonna shoot wine out? Let's see. Back pressure. Nothing. Well, this is a disappointment. Maybe I wasn't doing it right. Maybe it didn't go all the way through. Let's do this. Uh, I feel like I'm doing this wrong. All right, so now I can actually see if the needle goes all the way through. Yep, the needle went all the way through. Oh, you can't see that because of everything. Anyway, the needle went through. So let's see if I can get it to work now. Seriously, at some point, this cork has got to budge. Yeah, it took the dude like three pumps in the video to get it out. Just... Nothing. Nothing at all. Maybe I need to. really afraid I'm gonna break the bottle with pressure or something. I know this is glass and it can, it's pretty tough, but still. Something should be happening. I'm gonna give up. So, <laughs> it is not like fizzing at the top, that's funny. All right, so, um, random, Wooksify purchase from Facebook wine opener thing. Um, you're not any good. Just, it's not worth a buy. Uh, instead, spend an extra $7 and get yourself one of the rabbit openers I use on pretty much every video. Because I'll open a, wine, a bottle of wine in three seconds. Even if it still has the foil on top, just rip that SOB right open. 
Anyway, this is Mr. with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you tried this random air pressure thing that doesn't really work? I'd be interested to know if it has worked for you. Maybe I just need to try it on a different bottle. And if it has, leave a comment below. If it hasn't, leave a comment below. Uh, and if you have no do idea what I'm still talking about, just leave a comment below. I'll see you guys again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dot. In the meantime, I'm gonna actually go open that wine now and review it properly.